Banana Highland is an artificial highland of the foreshore of Igoi, Lagos, Nigeria. Its name derived from the curvature of its shape. The island is a planned mixed development with residential, commercial, and recreational buildings. The original Banana Highland construction project entitled Lagoon City was the brainchild of the late chief Adebayo Hadeleke, the University of London trade civil engineer and CEO of Property Development Limited. Adeleke had originally commissioned a new urban development in Morocco, Victoria Island. But that project had been acquired by the Lagos State Government following a lengthy 10-year court case. Lagos State Government offered other parcels of land as consideration for the Morocco development. Banana Island is a man-made island in Lagos, Nigeria that is slightly curved in shape like a banana. It is located in the Lagos Lagoon and connected to Ikoi Island by a dedicated road which is linked to the existing road network near Parkview Estate. The island was constructed by the Lebanese Nigerian Chagori Group in partnership with the Federal Ministry of Power, Works and Housing, and is considered to be on par with the seventh arrondissement of Paris, La Jolla, California, in San Diego, and Tokyo's Shibuya and Rupongi neighborhood. It occupies a sand field areas of approximately 1,330,000 square meters and is divided into 536 plots, mainly arranged along Code de Sacs, designed as to enhance the historical residential nature of Ikoi. Residents are provided with utilities, including underground electrical system and underground water supply network, a central sewage system, street lighting and satellite telecommunication network. The island is planned mixed development with dedicated areas for residential, commercial and recreational activities. On the residential side of the island, planning permission is not granted for dwellings over three stories high. The developers also intend to develop a main pizza, a club house, a primary and secondary school, a fire and police station, and a medical clinic. They are also negotiating to build a five star hotel on the highland along with an array of smaller guests. Banana Highland hosts several IN residential developments such as Ocean Parade Towers. A series of 14 luxury tower blocks strategically situated at one of the highlands to take advantage of 180 degree panoramic views overlooking the lagoon. Similar to many of the developments on the highland, it has dedicated leisure facilities such as a private health club with tennis courts, squash courts, and a swimming pool surrounded by extensive gardens. At launch flats in Ocean Parade, also sold for over 400,000 US dollars. Several leading Nigerian and international corporates, such as Etisalat Nigeria, Airtel Nigeria, Ford Foundation Nigeria, and Olani Wu Ajayi Hanku, are also based on Banana Island, together also with the likes of Mike Adenuga, a billionaire businessman, and Liko Dangote, who is also a billionaire businessman, David Doe, an Afrobeat artist. Linda Ikeji, a model and blogger, Yabo Obasanjo, a former Nigerian senator. Banana Island now has competition from another affluent community on nearby Victoria Island, which is popularly called the Eco Atlantic City. A 10 square kilometer development of high rise residences expected to be completed by 2035. A few buildings at Eco have already opened for occupancy, and the asking price for a flat there can be as much as 1 billion naira, according to Nobu. It looks more like Miami, and the experts are starting to like it more than even Banana Highland. Just as she said in an interview with Mansion Global, Onyeze says home prices on Banana Island have fallen over the last three and a half years for a variety of reasons that include reduced employment, lower prices for crude oil, lofty interest rates, inflation, and devaluation of Nigeria's currency and the Naira. But in an interview also with Mansion Global, he expressed optimism that the Nigerian economy will improve. 
and Banana Island remain a desirable address for the highest echelon of the society. Now, I hope with this video I've been able to give you full details about Banana Highland and why this city is called the most richest neighborhood in Africa. And with some of the images which I've displayed in this video, I hope you've been able to see the proof of the first house in Banana Highland and how Banana Island was in the 1970s. And I've really loved this video. I want you to make sure you subscribe to this video because trust me we will always give you the best and juicy deals in the real estate industry and as you can see we will give you more videos like this about the history of real estate in nigeria